which template should I use to start a new file? When you open the AutoCAD application, we arrive at the Start window. In the big area at the right, you can see the recent files you opened in the program. Along with each file, there is a thumbnail to help you to recognize the drawings that you have inside the file. Now let's start a new project. If I click on this plus or in new, it starts a new file with the last template I have used. However, sometimes I want to use a different one and in this case, I need to click on this arrow there is a list of the last templates used and then click on Browse Templates. So this window opens and there are around 12 by default to choose. I think the most used ones are ACAD and ACAD ISO. ACAD have by default the Imperial units and ACAD ISO the metrical units. By the way, it's always possible to change the units and other settings it doesn't matter the template that you start with. So I'm going to open this ACAD, type UN to open the drawing units window, and you can see the units to scale in search content is inches, even the type by default is set in decimals. Although it's common to use a different type here, for example the architectural or engineering, because in that case you can also see the number of feet. Let's use this precision and click on OK to save the changes. Now let's start a new file again, but this time with the template CAD ISO. If you go again to the drawing units, you can see the units here are in millimeters. So let's return to the previous file, drawing 1, which I have used the template ACAD but remember that we changed the type to architectural. Now, how can we save the changes to this template for the next time we want to use it and don't need to change the setting again? Simple. Go to the application icon. Then go to save as a drawing template. And now you have two options. You can update the current template then it asks me if I'm sure I want to replace the file. Or, if you prefer to not touch the default templates, you can create a folder with your personalized ones, that's what I actually did previously, and save it with a name you can easily recognize. After saving, you also have an option to add the description. Then click on OK. OK, so we reached the end of this weekly tip and of course, I hope it was useful for you. But if it wasn't, you might want to watch the next one. Think it will be something new. Who knows? So thank you very much and see you next time.